Hello everyone, today I'm talking about a very common question that comes in my clinic, in my, especially in my diabetes clinic. They'll ask, hey doc, what is this? What is that? And I'll try to explain, they're like, what do I do with that? And guess what? Did you guess what I'm talking about? The skin tags. So skin tags are very common. Uh, almost 50% of population in the United States have some sort of skin tags. And it's way more common in patients with diabetes and insulin resistance, and I'll explain to you why. So that's it. We are talking about skin tags in a short video today. This is Dr. Ahmed Ergin. I'm an endocrinologist and a diabetes education specialist. Today, we are diving into skin tags. Let's get started. So guys, skin tags are very common, right? So it can look like this, it can look like this, or it can look like this, or even this. It can look very different. So now, of course, you need to know how it looks like so that you know it's a skin tag, but most people know what a skin tag is. It typically happens as we get older, and they are uh, typically, you know, either it can be long or it can be short and sticky. It generally happens in areas where there is friction. It could be your under armpits, it could be around your eyelids, it could be around your neck area, even groin area, and that is common. Now, it is typically associated with Guess what? You guess it right. Insulin resistance and diabetes, that's what I'm talking about. Now, are they dangerous? Well, they're really not. They're not cancerous at all. If you want it removed, if it is in an area like your neck or something that looks ugly, you can get it removed. If you have one or two, that's not a huge clinical significance, but if you have three or more, studies indicate that actually, even if you're not diabetic, you will potentially will become diabetic, associated with diabetes, insulin resistance, high cholesterol, and so forth. Now, why do these things develop to begin with, right? Well, skin tags are basically collagen and blood vessels, nothing else, right? So they develop because of, the, these are growth, right? They are not cancer, but they're growth. So what induces their growth? Insulin right? Insulin is a growth factor. That's why a lot of people actually uh, tend to have cancers when they have insulin resistance and diabetes way more than the general population who do not have those problems because insulin induces growth. So when there's a lot of insulin in your body, even if you do not have cancer, those things tend to develop a lot easier. Since they're not cancer, body is not really fighting them. They're like a, like a weed, you know, they, they just grow everywhere. It's very easy for them to grow and then body just tolerates that and you end up getting skin tags uh, all over your body. They can turn into red or brown in time. Uh, they're annoying, they don't look good. But the bottom line is uh, they are there if you have insulin resistance. They can get bigger and they can get more and more in your body if you do not change your insulin resistance or lower your insulin resistance and you know how to do it you, you watch this channel you, you lose weight you eat better uh, more omega-3s uh, more healthy fats uh, less carbs healthy carbs are okay but less uh, overall uh, carbs and especially junk food and exercise more and and then you will be able to hopefully reduce that now uh, some people uh, will have acantosis nigricans. That's like a dark skin, at the, especially at the back of your neck or under armpits. That is also associated with insulin resistance as well. So uh, if you uh, are concerned if you have insulin resistance or not, just look at the mirror. You will see if your skin bunch of skin tags, if you are seeing like dark soft tissues under certain on, under skin folds and so forth, you are more than likely insulin resistant and it's time to change it. If you're not diabetic, it's a perfect time to act on it. If you're already diabetic, it's still not too late. You can still improve those symptoms by working on your insulin resistance. I hope that video was helpful and uh, please give a thumbs up, share and we'll see you in the next video. All right, thank you for watching and I want you to be more informed and more educated. So to do that, go ahead and watch this next video right here.